Ladies and gentlemen, Waco from Revolution here, Watches and Wonders 2023, here with Laurent Lecomte. How are you, sir? How do you do? I'm very good. And, and Good to see you. Huh? Good to see you, too. In your capacity as, as the watch boss here at Mont Blanc Watches, uh, tell me about what you've created. Let's start maybe with this new version of the IC, which you have on your wrist. Yes. So the IC collection, as you know, has been launched officially uh, last year. Right. So let's, uh, if you want, we should start with the bracelet first again. We have a bracelet with three key features. The feature, may I? Of course. Yes. It's uh, here you have the interchangeability. Right. You have the adjustability. That's here great. When yeah. you press. And here you have the V shape, meaning you have 20 millimeters between the legs and 16. It's a nice at taper. The yes, it's a taper, absolutely. Right. And the thing is that what I like clearly is the way uh, you can adjust it. And when it's loose on the wrist, done. Oh, wow. That's you really cool. Anymore. <laughs> That's very it's cool. Very practical. Yeah. <laughs> very practical. Yeah. This is IC. Then you have a unique dial, so right. you can observe as well with the rubber strap. The dial is inspired by the glacier of the Mont Blanc, right. Mer de Glace. 30 days we required to produce one dial. What's the process of producing oh, that? We are using all process dating from the uh, 19th century in watchmaking. So it's a very old process named Gratte Boise. Oh, wow. And then on top of it, we are coming with 30 steps in 30 days to uh, have at the end this uh, beautiful result. That's it awesome. looks like a real glacier with the depth, the grooves, the vents, and don't forget, it's 0 0.4 millimeter thick. Wow. And uh, tell me, talk to me about all the different elements of the watch. So the bezel insert is ceramic? Yes, the bezel is in ceramic, absolutely, and there is a specific sound. Yeah, it's a great sound. The sound of the dolphin. <laughs> yeah, it does sound yes. like a dolphin, actually. Listen to this. It's true. I like the details of the case also. I like the high polished bevel that's on the lugs. Uh, interchangeability of the bracelet, great case back. What's the movement inside here? Uh, the movement is Celita, okay. Celita movement, and it is um, ISO certified. Okay, for diving. So, yes, we have the ISO 645 certification. Right. Let me try the. Uh, let me try that. Yes. That fine adjuster. So, go here, and if I want to change the, yeah, the adjustment, how do I do it? I just press this, or try it. You see, <laughs> you're the specialist. Yes, exactly. You open it here, and then so you press here inside oh that's great you can increase up to 9.3 millimeters right average on the market is uh, five five to six millimeters oh wow that works really well actually it's perfect yeah just yeah it's very practical for like uh singapore for example mm -hmm. where you know your wrist like changes um its circumference like all day long when you go into air conditioning it becomes smaller you go outside it becomes warmer absolutely well. absolutely what's the uh, price of the ic 3,150 euros. So it's meant to be intentionally a very strong value proposition. I think it, it's a very high budget value, yes, it's intentional, absolutely. And you know, showed the interchangeability of the bracelet. Does the watch come with both the bracelet and the rubber strap? So when you have the watch, you can you have the choice. You can buy it on the steel bracelet or on the uh, rubber bracelet. Okay, and what's the difference in price between the rubber and the steel? It's uh, 200 euros. So you might as well buy it on the steel. <laughs> no. No? Because we have specificity that very few brands do have. Which is? Yes, if you buy the watches on a steel bracelet yes. and you order separately the rubber with a buckle, uh. you pay the same price as if you were buying the watch on a rubber bracelet. And then buying the steel bracelet. Separately. Oh, that's really the clever. Because actually not yes. a lot of brands don't do that. It's, now it's something with, uh, for me, I wanted to implement it for all the customers. Right. So there is no frustration. Right. And uh, in that case, you can buy the one you prefer on the steel bracelet or on the rubber strap without calculating about pricing and everything. Fantastic. So you have two pretty incredible ambassadors. You've got Reinhold Messner, who is the first guy to do all the different yeah. highest summits of the world. And then, of course, you've got this incredible person that you brought to the keynote speech yesterday, who's a star of this uh, television series on Netflix, The 14 Peaks. Tell us about these two watches that you created for them. The two watches are dedicated to Reinhold Messner and Nimzai Perja. Reinhold Messner, between 19, 1970 and 1986, is the one who managed to climb the 14 highest peaks in the world without the use of supplemental oxygen. Right. It was an inspiration for creating a collection deprived of oxygen inside. So it means the oxygen inside the watch has been replaced by nitrogen. But when you remove the oxygen from the inside of the watch, it means that the watch will work better, I would say, because the, the oxidation process is extremely slow for both for the oils and for the components. On top of it, you have uh, what you call no humidity inside the watch. So it doesn't fog up when you go in between different like environments. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. really cool. And then also you have zero oxygen. And how do you know it's a zero oxygen timepiece? Right. Because you have a blue gasket, gasket right. around. So if you pay attention to the dial, 
the dial is how the stone looks over 8,000 meters because it's dedicated to the 14 highest peaks in the world over 8,000 meters. That's really cool. So that's very cool. And 30 days we uh, are uh, required as well for this dial to be produced. Then you have the geosphere complication. Right. Southern and northern hemispheres. Right. Three dimensional one. And uh, your watch has a specificity, it's the, the strap. It's a full titanium with a taper, with the interchangeability and with the adjustability as well. Really cool. And 41 mm in diameter. This one is 42. 42 mm in diameter. Uh, what is the uh, price of this watch? The, but before sharing with you the price, I want to share with you another surprise on the case. The case back, right. Okay. So if you just remove the strap, you see something very exclusive, which is the K2 Montaigne. Ah. The engraving is not really engraving. This is oxidation of titanium. Right. So it means that the colors will stay uh, for many, many, many years. Right. It will not disappear after. It's a not few a coating. It's like a CBD or PBD. It's actually the it's, ah, it's, it's, it's oxidation. It's oxidized. So right. it, it, it's it's there for, for for many, many years. Right. Probably for, for forever. Probably yes. But the thing is, the K2 has a meaning as well because Reinhold Messner he was climbing, as explained to you, the 14 highest peaks in the world, and in 1990, 90, uh, 1979, sorry, he climbed the K2. And he said, for the first time in my life, for the first time when I was climbing one of the highest summits in the world, when I reached the summit, it was so beautiful around. He could see up to 200 kilometers around. So he said, I sit on the summit to observe the beauty of the nature. That's cool. That's why the question was, Reynold, which one is your most favorite summit? He said, K2. Laurent, by far the K2. Very That's cool. why we decided to have the K2 here on the case bag. And Reynold is the one, so Reynold and Nimsdai are the two best mountaineers ever. Reynold was the first one, and uh, Nimsdai the did fastest one. Did it faster one. than anyone else? <laughs> hey, yes. What did he do? He did it like in six months or something like that, right? Was, oh yes, and now crazy. He, he was yeah. with us yesterday, now he's traveling today. Wow. Because he has a new challenge coming in the next few hours now. Really? Yes. So tell us about the, the watch that you did in, um, in collaboration with Nimsdai. This, this one is, the, is may, may I? Of course, sir. Merci. So this one is dedicated to, um, to Nimsdai Burja. So inside the concept is the same, zero oxygen. The dial reminds you of the stone over 8,000 meters. Ceramic bezel, uh, the two hemispheres for the um, geosphere complication. Made, developed, made in uh, Villeray, right. Minerva. And chronograph function, manufacture movement, 100%. Right. It should remind you of the rope right. when you climb. So this is, this is why we have this um, type of bracelet. It reminding, uh, reminds you of the, of, the, of the rope. And here on the case back, you have something really interesting. On his back, Nimsdai has a tattoo. Oh, that's right. Okay. Of all the peaks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right. Of peaks. Nimsdai had a tattoo before climbing before climbing the 14 highest peaks. You would think that like that's a little bit uh, he say, <laughs> yeah, presumptuous. But <laughs> like yeah, 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 but he said, uh, when I asked him why, he said, Laurent, it's very simple. Once you have the tattoo on your back, you have to do it. Everybody is asking, "Why do you have this?" <laughs> so you have to climb. You have no choice, and that's how he managed probably to climb right. the the 14 highest peaks in the world in six months and six days. Incredible. And uh, here, what you find, this is like the tattoo of the watch right. on the case back. It, on the um, on the left, you will find the name of the mountains. On the right, the altitude, and here at the bottom, you have the Himalayan uh, praying flags. Nice. With a five key colors. Yes. I noticed that um, all the bezels have a ceramic insert that have the uh, north, south, and east, uh, and west indicator. And so you can use this also as a... It's useful. Uh, yes. It's useful, yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. It, I'm it, trying to remember if I have it right. If I'm not mistaken, I think you take the hour uh, hand and you point it in the direction of the sun. Then the difference between the minute and the hour hand pointed in the opposite direction is north. Is that correct? Perfect. I have nothing uh, to explain. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. You explain extremely well. Yeah, I say this uh, you you know, now. Extreme, right? If you ask me to do it in the wild, I just get lost. But, you know? next, next time, you should, you should, uh, we can organize if you want us so, uh, climbing with, with Nim's eye. <laughs> no, no, no. So, well, yeah. Let me get rid of the, uh, yeah, yeah. the, the boot. Of all, yes. Yeah. I have yes, had yeah. a small injury before Watches and Wonders, but that, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's go from these uh, three incredible watches to one of my favorite complications, your in-house Minerva chronograph. Tell me about the complications that you've created with this wonderful movement. May? Open the box. What do you see inside? I see a, a bunch of stones. Which stones? That's a damn good question. Coming from which place? I would imagine from Switzerland. Uh, part of them, yes. This is from the Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Mont Blanc, the quartzite. Right. 
and it's limestone from Villeray. Ah, wow, fantastic. Limestone is a very important stone. It makes wine taste good as well. That's what uh, the soil, right? I, Absolutely. I know from the wine perspective. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the idea is, uh, the watch we introduced to you is very interesting because the case is a, is, a, is a blackened. Right. And we put this case inside the box. Okay. And inside the box, you have the stones coming from the Mont Blanc and the stones coming from Minerva, right. Villeray. Villeray. Because Mont Blanc is Minerva, Minerva is Mont Blanc. Right. Okay. And then, so we, you start shaking everything during two hours and a half. Oh, so it's distressing the, uh, the case. Absolutely. Wow. And it's, uh, it's a première okay. it's in watchmaking. And at the end, I would say that we have let Mother Nature be our guide. Okay. May so I? Let, let's oh, it's, yeah, it's here. Okay. Yes, absolutely. This is the piece. So first of all, you observe the flatted bezel. It comes from the Twinies. Minerva developed the flatted bezel in Twinies. Right. It was for um, developing um, um, a function for the pilots. Right. Yeah. So it, we took inspiration from, from that uh, story to create here the sign of recognition, a flooded bezel in white gold. Right. Oh. The case I explained to you, it's steel, it's blackened, and then so the finishing is made by the nature, more than yeah, nature. That's cool. That's cool. It's, it's real new. And here inside, so you have a movement, it's a reverse movement. But when you reverse a movement, 95 years old, the movement inside, when you reverse these movements, all the hands are turning left. Yes, yeah, so facing the wrong direction. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we had to develop a gear train. Like a reverser uh, mechanism. Okay. Exactly, exactly. To reach at the end, so 273 components. But I love that. So you basically want, because everyone always says, hey, you know, I wish I could wear my Mont Blanc Minerva watch with the movement facing the front. So you finally gave it to them, right? Absolutely. But, Absolutely. You, but you had to get, yeah, you created an additional train to reverse the direction of the hands. So 88 pieces, because right. 88, if you reverse, it's still 88. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And if you pay attention to the case pack, this is All the right. manufacturer, you can re rewind it. Yeah. So if you pay attention to the, to the case pack, this is the manufacturer, how it looks uh, in 1927, when we developed this flooded bezel. So it's part of history oh, as cool. well. So you really made the sort of laser engraving of the case packs part of the... Uh, yes, uh, but using uh, so a lot of uh, documents coming from 1927 right. to be sure that the manufacturer was exactly how it is on the case so pack at the time. It's impressive the, uh, the level of detail that you're able to get through with that. That's me now. Uh. And uh, last but not least, each movement is assembled, disassembled, reassembled. Oh, and so double assembly. Absolutely. All right. for, for all the movements by Minerva, wow. and you have only one watchmaker behind. Phenomenal. And it means that you're the, the end customer has the possibility to meet the watchmaker who is behind the watch, who developed the caliber, who assembled the watch. It feels phenomenal. Like just to, to press the stop start and, uh, the sound. and reset action is great. The sound is, uh, is, is typical. So if I close my eyes, I can recognize immediately the sound yes. of a mono push up a chronograph made uh, in Villeray. My, my question, of course, is that uh, now what would happen if you were to remove the pusher from the chronograph? Is that actually possible? Mm. You know everything, huh? <laughs> you know everything. It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, dream is realized. <laughs> it's being realized. Cool. So here they see the, the watch. We're introducing the watch in wonders. If you pay attention to the case back, we have a movement. It's gorgeous, man. Based on 1320. This movement is yeah. 100 years old. Wow. Handmade, one watchmaker, same story. And you assembled, disassembled, and reassembled. You see the key dates here in blue. Mm -hmm. These are the key dates for the manufacturer. Wow. So the creation, when we developed the Pythagor movement, 1948, and so on. Okay, so you have all the key dates. And on the dial side, you have something very interesting. Dial is very unique in terms of colors. We created our own color, okay? Numbers are in three dimensions, supplementary inside. Tachymeter for 200, 400, 1000 meters. Ah. Tachymeter. And here, you have the chronograph function. But how do but you have the chronograph function? This you is have no pushers. Exactly. So it's a premiere. It seems it is the only chronograph in the world with no pushers, and you can activate the chronograph functions using only the bezel. Wow. I show you. Stop. Which is cool because apparently you guys created the fluted bezel. Yeah. Stop. Right. Reset. Can I? Of course. Start. Stop. Reset. So it's my the prototype here. So don't hesitate. Put your fingers here. Okay. Press enter. And I saw a lime gold version of this as well. We have a lime gold version as well, yeah. yes. Phenomenal. 
This one is limited to 100 pieces only, steel and white gold. And we have the lime gold function limited to 28 pieces only. What is the name of this watch? It is the uh, Unveiled Timekeeper. Unveiled Timekeeper. Unveiled Timekeeper, yes. Fantastic. Laura, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure uh, spending time with you. Do you have one second? Of course. I would like to share with you something. Okay. Uh, this novelty is yeah. I'm coming in a new box, 100% made in Switzerland right. by a carpenter. Nice. Each of them. Yes. Swiss wood. Yes. And now you have 20 seconds to open it. Top. You know the system. I saw it already. <laughs> but it's so cool because it's got just so join, join, join. Because nobody managed to do it. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody managed to do it. That's it. Someone okay. showed me already. Okay. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Clear. And please have a look. Pay attention here. <laughs> Box made in Switzerland. Fantastic. It was just completely. Everything is uh, made in Switzerland. Different from how everyone else does it. Fantastic.